Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about my eczema, my story with eczema, my struggle, and then also share with you some products that have really helped me throughout the years and some products that have not worked for me. Some people call it eczema, some people call it eczema. I have always called it eczema, so that's what I'm going to refer to it as, but if you have been following me for a while, you know that I have extremely dry skin and um, eczema on my legs and on my arms here. I have some pictures as to what my legs look like. It's all over my legs from my thighs all the way down to my ankles. These pictures are not even that bad. I took these pictures recently when my skin has been a little bit better, but this is just a glimpse into how red my legs are and how much I just can't control scratching to the point where I'll bleed and scab. I've been to the doctor throughout the years and I've had various different creams, but these are some products that you can purchase at the drugstore that have helped me. The first thing that has been the saving grace to me are these exfoliating gloves. So this one is still a little damp because I took a shower earlier today. Um, this one is dry. I usually only use one at a time because you can kind of put it on both hands or I don't even necessarily put it on like a glove. I just kind of use it to exfoliate. So this is better than a loofah in my opinion. You can get these at any drugstore, even the grocery store. I think I've even seen these at the dollar store. They are just amazing for exfoliating and just getting all the extra dry skin off and that is what causes the itch as well. So these have just been a staple for me and if you suffer from really dry skin or eczema, you definitely need exfoliating gloves. Next on my list of holy grails, this has been the cream that I have repeatedly bought because it is the only thing that somewhat works. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Skin Relief Moisturizing Cream. It is in the big tub here. It's pretty pricey, I think it's about $20. Like pricey for a drugstore product in my opinion. It is relieves itchy, cracked, extra dry skin, triple oat complex. They also have a tub like this that is specific for eczema. I haven't yet tried that one. That one is about like $30. I believe I actually just discovered that one so that's on my list of things to try next but this tub is about halfway full still this tub will usually last me for about a month and a half and I will put this on reapply it all over my body every time I change my clothes so that means as soon as I get out of the shower and every time I change my clothes so that's in the morning and at night I will put on reapply this cream all over my body because my skin is just so dry. And I focus it on my legs because that is where my eczema is the worst. Next, I have two more shower products. So one being a soap. This is a goat milks soap. So the box doesn't have any packaging. It did have like a plastic wrapper when I purchased it. So I'll try to insert a picture of the label and the brand. This is from the grocery store. So it's goat's milk so this is really gentle to the skin and it really does help soothe my itch and just keep my skin really hydrated so that it doesn't get itchy. And then finally in the shower, what I like to use with my exfoliating gloves is this body wash. This is actually something new that I'm trying and I really like it. So it's the Aveeno Active Naturals Gentle Scent for Skin Relief Body Wash. Um, it's chamomile, as gentle as fragrant free, relieves itchy dry skin. Dermatologist recommended. This one smells really good and it seems to be helping not irritate my skin and it does help with the gloves. You need something that lathers a little bit more. This goat's milk soap doesn't really lather too much. So so this is what I use with the exfoliating gloves and this has helped my skin a lot. So those four products are my holy grails and those have been the products that I have stuck to after trying so many over the years. So these are just a few products that don't work for my itchy skin. These are things that I still have in my possession that I haven't thrown out so I just want to show you some things that haven't worked for me. The first one being this Lush product, it's Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I thought that this would help because it's a body conditioner and I thought you use it inside the shower. I thought it would help to moisturize my skin, but I think it's just the scent that irritates my skin and it really doesn't do anything 
anything for my eczema. If anything, I think it makes it worse. I used about half of this before realizing that it really didn't help me at all, and now I'm just about to toss it because it's expired. Another Evino product that just didn't really help my eczema, but I'm not going to throw away because it's still a good product. It's the Evino's Active Natural Anti-Itch Lotion. This is like a really heavy duty lotion. It's supposed to be for like chicken pox, poison ivy, insect bites, itches, so it's a triple oat complex. It's a really, really thick, like, pink cream. Like, imagine the stuff that you put on your skin when you have the chicken pox. That's what this is. I bought this when I was just at the worst point, um, usually in the winter, my eczema is just so bad. So that's when I bought this, but it just is so thick, it was not doing anything for my skin. And then that's when I discovered this one, and it was just so much better. And then finally, something that doesn't work for my eczema skin are just these like regular moisturizers. These are the St. Ives. These are what I just have all over my house. We use them like in the bathroom, like hand lotion. This is just too watery, and it doesn't do anything for my skin. Also, the scent um, irritate it more than anything so these are something that don't work for me after using this cream for so long any other lotion or cream or whatever just feels so watery to me because this is so thick but it's exactly what my skin needs so those are just the products that have helped me throughout the years I hope that I can share these recommendations with you and you can find something that helps let's open up the comments below to a conversation if you have or suffer from dry itchy skin whether it be eczema or just really really bad dry skin Skin. Let me know what products work for you. Maybe they can help someone else in the comments below. These products have really helped me, but skin is tricky. Something that works for me might not work for you, so leave comments below about some other products that may be of help to others. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! I had to have it. It is totally my aesthetic, and it's just gonna look so cute with you know, I wear a lot of black and neutral colors, so this is just going to look so cute on a night.